Hey, what's going on guys? Today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how to test the LED lights on your television if you do not have an LED tester. If you do have an LED tester, I will link those in the description box below if you need one of those, but this method is gonna be cheaper and easier to do it if you have the materials. If not, pick them up. I'll also link them in the description box below. We're gonna be testing each strip, meaning there are, especially on this LG, yours might have 10 across, mine has nine across, yours might even have 12 across, it depends how big it is. This particular LG is a 47 inch. The bigger, you're gonna have more lights. So each individual light is about 2.8 volts or three volts. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We are gonna be testing them from the edge here, I'll zoom in in just a second here. We're not gonna test them from the middle. We're gonna test each individual row from the points of contact. And at the edges, let me go ahead and just show you real quickly here. We see plus and minus there. Coming over here, plus and minus right there. So we're gonna be testing these points right here. Again, it's down the edges here. Once we test it, the whole row should light up and whatever ones don't light up, are the culprit, meaning that that particular LED bulb is bad. I have another video, how to test your power supply board, if it potentially could be that. So check out the channel, smash the thumbs up button and subscribe. So here is what we're gonna do. Three nine volt batteries. You will need more if your TV is larger with more. Again, we have nine lights, three volts per light, 2.8, three volts per light, three times nine, 27. Nine, 18, 27. If you have 10 lights, you could probably get away with still only three nine volts. Let me show you how we're gonna do this here. We're gonna stack one like this, where the positive is on the left, negative is on the right, and we're gonna go ahead and put input the plus, we're gonna clip that into this one here. Then with the negative right here, we're gonna clip that into the positive like that. So it's gonna stack up like this. I have to do it two hands, obviously. That is gonna, this is again gonna be clipped into those two right there. Then we're gonna be taking some wire, which is stripped down. We're gonna wrap around the red one. I just so happen to have color coordinated one that I've already stripped. The red one is gonna be our plus. We're gonna wrap it around the plus. Our black one, which is negative, is gonna wrap around the negative here. These two, of course, will be clipped in with this nine volt to make 27 volt tester. Let me go ahead and show you. All right, guys, I actually went with different wire. So I stripped the ends of that. I believe this is like eight gauge wire. You can go thinner, definitely go thinner if you have that wire lying around the house. It just wasn't sticking for me. Still was tough to actually keep it on there and wrap it around. So I actually wrapped it around and used electrical tape to hold it in place. And that's just going to be easier for testing. Again, if we're looking at the left side, positive, negative, positives going into negative, negatives going into positive, and this is negative. Just remember, now that I don't have black and red, put black electrical tape on that one so I know that one's the negative. I don't want these falling apart, so I just stitched them right to left and also up and down. That's not going anywhere. All right, guys, so there's gonna be a very, very hard to see film over the contact points. So what I did is I just took a razor blade and scratched it so the copper turns shiny and then you know you've kind of broken free of this like almost like, I don't know, it's probably corrosion free something or other that lays over the top of it. So again, let me show you on this particular one as we can see right there. It's a little bit hard to see, but what we're gonna have to do is again, just get in there with the razor blade and we're just gonna get the film off of it so the contact point is nice. All right guys, so we see here, I've already written some magic marker on the LED strips and I got a lot of bulbs out. I got an entire rows out. These lights are trash. So let me go ahead and show you real quickly. We're gonna get a close up here in just a second. What you're gonna do over here, again, I'm gonna get a close up here, but I have the very top contact point is a plus symbol, and then we have two minus symbols. It does not work if you go the lower minus symbol, so you have to go the top plus and the middle minus as in negative. So again, I'm gonna take my positive one, I'm gonna put it on my contact point here, I'm gonna take my negative one and put it on the middle one, 
And as we can see there, I have absolutely nothing. So I realize that these are completely shot. So let me give you one more example here. It's kind of interesting, this particular TV. Because these are already shot, I went ahead and tested it from the middle. I don't advise you to do this unless they're shot for sure. You don't want to over voltage them and burn them out. But when I do this, you can see here, it's dim. All those are dim, but when I come over here to this side, it's not working at all. So they're all dim, out, whole row, and dim. So let's go ahead and go to this one. This one is functioning properly here. Again, but this particular one, the positive is now on the bottom. And we're going to go ahead and go negative in the middle again. And that one lights up entirely. But see the one right here on the very edge. And sorry, some of my little uh, some of my little things have fallen off here. And this is actually, that's why this was removed. Let's go ahead and do that again. So as we can see here, all those are working properly. We're looking good. That whole entire row is legitimate. But that side over there, the whole row is entirely out. That's a bummer. I have this one removed, but I'm just showing you guys how to test them in the contact points here. This one is out right here and dim. So let me go ahead and show you again. Now this one is positive on the top and the negative is the middle one. So again, I'm not getting anything on that side. I test it in the middle. And sorry if my head's blocking the camera. And we have dim. And actually that one is now looking like I wrote that probably wrong here, but this one is dim as well. Let me show you one last one. This whole entire row should be functioning. As we can see there, looking fantastic. And then that one, I've already tested that side on the other side, and in the middle, that whole row is out over there. All right, let's zoom in so I can show you the contact points a little bit better. All right, here are the contact points here. Again, positive is up above, and we're gonna test it in the middle negative one. Again, this is my negative, so we're gonna go ahead and put it on the positive. And remember, this whole entire row is dim and I can only test it from the middle section, but what you do is you just put you just put your contact positive on that one and your negative on that one, and the lights should light up. Again, don't test this one, test the middle one on these particular lights right there. If you are testing it from the middle, again, be careful, but you would do the same thing here, and that would light up right there. Just remember to scrape off the film and you guys are all set being able to determine what light strips are out and which ones particularly need replacing. Most sellers on eBay or Amazon or shops are going to sell the entire strips as in every single one of them. That's the way I would go if you're good with soldering. You potentially could take replacement bulbs from other televisions, solder them in. If you're very handy with micro soldering, people do sell used LED lights on eBay, so you can check in the search engine of eBay, type in your model television number and LED backlights, and something should pop up for you. Overall, this is a very useful and cheap way of testing your LED lights on your television. I do fully recommend a LED light tester. They're coming down in price. This is only gonna set you back probably less than $5, but LED testers now are coming down. I think they're around $30 or so. I will link that in the description box below. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. Smash that thumbs up button if it has helped you and subscribe to the channel and watch my other video about testing your power supply board with a multimeter to determine if your power supply is shot also with your LED lights. You guys have a great day. We'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.